Hi, it's Teresa from Aceret Studio. Thanks for joining me. This is just a quick flip through of my newest large journal. Her name is Clementine, Sweet Clementine, and I have a separate video that just shows you all of the pieces of ephemera that are tucked in, so I won't be pulling those pieces out. I'm just going to go ahead and do just a real quick flip through, and everything will be described in detail on my Etsy channel. Thanks for watching. So here's the cover, and this is a pocket with prairie points all around it, and I've put the enclosure. It's a pretty long, it's almost, I think it's about 36 inches long, and it'll wrap around Clementine two times. So I'll put that in here. You've got a little um, dragonfly here. This is made out of an old vintage um, unfinished uh, embroidery project, but it's absolutely just sweet with all the little French knots. I'll flip this baby over so you can see. She has three signatures. Here's the back side. Lots of old vintage fabric used to create her soft cover. Here we go, just a real quick flip through. Inside front cover, muslin, stitched, plenty of pockets. I've attached uh, a charm on one of the signatures, and then on the other two, I have the bulb pin with a little uh, ring, so you can attach your own charms. Little pocket, plenty of room to write. Map page with a secret flip. I've left these ties long, and they hang out about an inch and a half if you wanna add uh, charms or beads or anything else on your own. This unfolds to lined paper for a secret message. Another pocket with some vintage stationery. Plenty of writing, sketching space. Um, I love these old coloring pages. Ledger paper, um, information on June flowers. It's really kind of a neat uh, vintage picture. A, an envelope, fabric flip. This little baby pocket is full of goodies for you. They've been gone through already on another video for you that'll be attached to this listing. For my Etsy shop listing, I'm sorry. Lots of really neat pages. Some nice text to practice, stitching. Some fun pages from a child's workbook. More ephemera that's gone over already, a tuck spot. Two pockets with um, lined paper, um, nice little notebook with some vintage French lace, tuck made out of old typing paper. Oops, excuse me. Trying to go fast. I think I'm almost out of memory. So some old graph paper from a quilt book. Plenty of writing spaces, a nice big piece of ledger paper here. Lots of writing space, an old um, piece of uh, an old book that was a handwriting book. A little flip, some little goodies here, quilted pockets, third signature. I had a lot of fun making this, plenty of room to write some graph paper. This is a piece of an old sheet that would be fun to play with or stitch on some of these pages. Little pockets, some music sheets, old um, stationery, tuck spot, more stitching, stitching, stamping. And this is, um, it goes above one of the pages and it flips over, plenty of room to write. Let me bring that down. And then you flip it over, you've got more room to write, and as you see, there are um, little places where you can tuck things, and I already have some little cards that you can write little memories on and such. So this basically flips over one of your pages, and you can take it out and write and whatnot. Some more ledger paper, more places to keep notes. This has been gessoed so you can draw or paint on it or just simply attach things. Fold out. Just fold out. Beautiful, beautiful pictures from an old calendar. 
flip. Another tuck spot with a stamped envelope. Some punching, music, more places to tuck that ephemera, and notes and such. You can jazz this up on your own, create your own enclosure. And then I had a lot of fun making these. They're vintage um, cross-stitch books that I have sewn together and created a nice heavy-duty pocket. It's double-layered double and stitched, and that's tucked into a pocket. And I had a lot of fun, excuse me, had a lot of fun making some of this ephemera. You can share that with a friend and whatnot. And then there's a couple of these Rolodex in the goodies that are tucked in to Clementine. So once again, this is Clementine, backside, the side, the front. This flips up if you want to tuck something under there. Remember, that's a pocket, little prairie points. And this is Clementine. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you check her out on Etsy. Bye-bye.